Hi, welcome to uh, helping you understand how to update your listing information. Let's say you have a business in the county of Northumberland, so you find the business directory on that county's site. Or you can go to ylm.ca and find your community on the drop down list and click on that link. So here I've clicked on the business directory for this county and they're using the YLM directories. So if I'm going to um, show you how to do this, well you can look up a, uh, say I want to uh, look up any company that happens to have the uh, word, oh, let's say, birth in it because my company has the word birth in it. So I click on find it. So this is one way where your company might come up so you can look for it that way. So what happens is if you're, if you're what you put up here will be a keyword and it pulls those keywords from either your company name or from your detailed view you'll see you have keywords that um, also drive this um, result. If I go to front page again you can also search say you want to see if you come up on various other types of searches you can go in and see perhaps you'd like to make sure you come up under the word say healthcare so you can click on um, the various uh, categories that you hope you might come up under and I forgot to press continue I think and then um, you can um, search for yourself in different cities you can search for uh, all sorts of different permutations and combinations but let's just say I wanted that code that relates to all health care in the vast county of Northumberland to um, come up. So there's 360, 376, so here's that company that uh, Embrace Birth um, Dual Care. So that's um, one way to find your company. And so then we would have sent you an ID and password to enter into your own company to update your information. If you haven't got that information, then click here, down here, uh, to contact us and we'll be glad to send you your ID and password. So, so if you remember your ID and password, go into it and um, enter it here. I've, uh, I knew I was going to choose that first company, so I uh, went in and found their ID and password. So this is what comes up after you log in as a listing owner. You'll see the ability to view your listing in case you wanted to see what it looked like. This takes you to your detailed view where you have the ability to have your logo, you can see what it looks like, maybe you want it a little bit bigger, you can see the marketing message you have in there right now. Um, this particular company actually has their Facebook, their social networking link uh, here. So what they would have done was earlier they would have gone to their Facebook page and taken this link up here and they would have cut and pasted this and do a control C when you highlight the whole thing and they would have pasted it uh, where I'll show you where they log in so people can um, can uh, attach themselves to your business page on Facebook. There's directions on here so they already have directions so say I want to know how to get there from say Toronto um, I can say get directions and uh, it's smart enough to know you meant Toronto Ontario and so you can now print the actual uh, directions as well, which is pretty exciting. So let me close this. But now let's uh, log in. And I've already logged in because that's why it says log out. So view listing, manage listing. This is what I really want to show you. So here, let me show you quickly manage listing. There's all these tabs that you have information in already based on what you've put in or what your economic development team has gathered for you. So uh, in here would be you can go in at any time and change any of this when you press continue it automatically saves for you so let me press continue here these are the marketing descriptions and these are keywords these are the keywords that the public would put in to find you remember any type of search directory is like a matchmaking service it's going to match whatever they put in to the keywords that you have here or to your company name it also uses these words here as your match instrument, the uh, NAICS code uh, or the business category codes. Those are also acting as your keywords. So here if you want to upload a picture, if you don't have one here yet, you click on this button 
and you say um, add new image and you simply add it from your computer so it's very simple to do Oh, there you get to see uh, my wedding I could add a picture of my wedding to your logo if you like don't think that's necessary um, or so let's say cancel you could have a couple different images here and you select which one you'd like maybe from time to time you like to change your logos I suggest you keep your branding consistent with your other branding but that's a whole other conversation so you may want to select your number of employees we your business your uh, economic development team uses that for economic development activity uh, if your maps in the wrong place very simple for you to click on the map move it to the right place and when you press continue the system automatically resets the longitude and latitude and we save it at this point what I think I'll do is I'll just um, reset it because I don't know where the right place is I won't show you this email because this would be a private email but what this does is if the if your listing has a um, contact us form on it when someone fills in this information on the contact us form it actually goes to the email that's in this tab here so that's what that's for the public doesn't see it but it goes to that email so that's important buttons are very exciting buttons are how you add the Facebook page or the other buttons Let's scroll down and you can have up to nine of these buttons as I showed you before this uh, company has already put in their Facebook button where they've cut and paste the uh, Facebook URL into uh, this uh, line here which is excellent well done so I'm going to cancel this I don't want to change it on them but we can add a new button this is where that's done add new buttons kind of hidden underneath this image here add new button and what you do is you decide the type of button you'd like to add so you can add another picture if you like so to do that you go in and you have to scroll down a little to find this so don't forget this internal scroll bar sometimes it's deceiving just go to your images and select the image you'd like to uh, find and um, and so let's say change your upload so I would upload a new image upload uh, I would browse just like you would do traditionally and find you know the image that you'd like to upload so um, let me just close that and close that and uh, you'll be able to select which image you'd like shown on that button and uh, what else can you do by button type so many different types of buttons you can put in hours of operation and obviously if you don't select one of these the button doesn't show up but if you wanted to you can indicate you're open these various days and which hours you can put notes if you're seasonal then press save down here I'll just press cancel and then your hours of operation button shows up it's that simple if you wanted to put in a video link there's uh, the most popular one of course being YouTube but you can um, it's just telling me my video it's telling me my image is doing something funny uh, so here I can just say video I could indicate uh, you know introduction video or just say whatever you'd like the button next to your the text next to your button to say and then put in the URL from your video here and that's it and you press save and you'll end up with your video there so that's all it takes if you'd like your buttons to change if you want maybe your um, Facebook and your contact us to be in different directions you just click this and it'll move this button up but I won't do that for her um, or him contacts I'm not going to show you this but these are the private contacts that you put into the system only your economic development team shows you that or will see that so uh, and that's for them to contact you to help to help you grow in the and prosper in your community economic development teams they put in this information I knew they didn't have theirs in there so I um, I wanted to show that to you you'll find from time to time various items that are put in here this is from stats Canada if they put it in here and then this is from employment survey information that they get and um, sometimes they they, they um, sometimes they collect various pieces of information to help again with economic development activities so that's all there is so that now that shows you now how to um, change your information and again at any time you can go in and actually improve your search priority which is kind of important because you may want to go in and make sure that when someone does choose any of the keywords that you've put into your listing you come up first so it's very inexpensive 
and because people trust their community directory it's a nice place for you to get found it's a flat fee that you would put in and um, you pay for it on Visa, MasterCard, American Express or PayPal and you would automatically then get this blue line put around your listing and your listing would show up ahead of any of the other listings that have not uh, bought and bought and have not paid for uh, priority listing. Again, at any time you want any help, just click down here and um, contact us via email and we'll be glad to help you. I hope that was a, uh, uh, a learning experience for you and uh, thank you for using our system.